What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Today we're going to be talking about 2020.48.10. Uh, this release has gone out wide uh, over the last 24 hours. So chances are if you don't have it uh, at the time of watching this video, you're going to have it in the very near future. Uh, so let's go take a look at release notes. There are three things that are new in this release. We're going to talk about all three and we're actually going to attempt to try all three, including our new Century Mode improvements. We'll see if I can get my alarm to go off. Um, so, text messaging improvements. Uh, consecutive messages from the same sender will now be displayed and dictated together for an improved viewing and listening experience. Uh, you can also now double tap the right scroll wheel button to easily dismiss an incoming text message or re-record an outgoing text message. And uh, before we go any further, I hope they add the double click on the right wheel for phone calls to be able to hang up. But that's not here nor there, that's not part of this update, it's just me adding in something uh, above and beyond. So, as usual, make sure your text messaging is enabled, tap the Bluetooth icon in the top display, and make sure sync messages is on. So, let's give this a try, I'm going to get my friend to text me now. So you can see here, it says press to tap, or uh, right tap, right click to read. And if we click it once... Tesla, Mark Bianco says, ooh, I thought you said pay. He said pay. So I can double tap to dismiss, or I can press once to reply. Hey, Mark, you're on YouTube. Uh, for everyone else who doesn't know who Mark is, uh, that's Mark BSB on YouTube. Check him out. Uh, but yeah, you're on my video now. And you can see that's like really quick. That's really cool. So that new display is awesome actually pretty awesome uh, and I can double tap to retry or press a single press to send so this whole new UI over here actually tells you exactly what's going on it's not like before so that's like night and day different that's way way better than what it used to be and uh, hopefully he's gonna send us a message back so you guys are able to see uh, like a threaded reply because according to this consecutive messages from the same sender will not be displayed and dictated together, right? So you kind of saw it already. Uh, he sent those two messages in a row where in the past, in the old build, it would just be like one display screen. So that is already like way, way better. I'm really impressed by this. Uh, let's continue. Let's go down to tracks and let's see if Mark messages us back uh, by the time we uh, start talking about tracks. And there he is actually. So I guess we're not talking about tracks. Tesla, Mark Bianco says I am confused laughing out loud. <laughs> and for those who don't know, it actually converts the LOL to laughing out loud. Uh, so we're just like, can we? Yeah, okay. Let's just swipe it down. Let's talk about tracks now. So tracks is redesigned to help you create audio masterpieces with just a few taps. Quickly preview and mix sounds with new drum machine and instrument selectors. I uh, actually did a tweet uh, with a poll asking how many of you guys use tracks, uh, and the numbers weren't super high. Uh, there aren't a lot of you that are out there using tracks. Um, I want to do something with it, and that's in the works, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to see uh, some really fun stuff that I have planned with tracks with someone who has more vocal and musical talent than myself. Uh, they will be in an upcoming video. I'm not going to say more than that, but let's check it out. Uh, for Someone who doesn't use it a lot, honestly, I'm not going to be able to tell you what's different, but this is basically what it looks like. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is Tracks. If you guys use Tracks, leave a comment down below. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know uh, how much you use it and what you use it for. And if you guys actually have, like, some really cool audio, let me know. I'd love to see it, especially if you have it on YouTube. Leave a link. Uh, so, let's get out of Tracks and let's continue to... The last uh, item on the update, uh, the last one is Sentry Mode Improvements. And this is a massive update, uh, huge, huge improvement. So Sentry Mode footage of the last panic event and a panic event for those who are unaware is where your car alarm actually trips off. So uh, it's not Sentry Mode just tripping off that it detected someone, it has to be a panic event. We'll now save to an onboard memory. Uh, so to view or save this clip, plug in a USB stick, launch the dash cam viewer, and tap the save icon on the bottom right corner of the screen. So the reason why this is a huge update is if someone breaks into your car 
and then steals your USB stick, you're not going to have the sentry mode of them breaking into your car. Where with this update, that sentry mode clip is actually stored in the car, so you can just throw in a USB stick to uh, extract that uh, video clip. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to, you can see my dash cam icon is uh, up, like on right now. I'm going to unplug my dash cam and then I'm going to try to trip off my car alarm. We'll see how hard or easy that is. And uh, <laughs> we'll see if I can do it. And then we're going to try to plug it back in and see if we can extract the video file of me breaking into my own car. So that's the plan. Uh, and I've really struggled to trip sentry mode in the past because uh, I don't want to damage my car, obviously, but we're going to give it a try anyway. So let's go outside and let's give this a go. All right, so we're here and <laughs> I don't want to break my glass. Um, I did a sentry mode video uh, when it first came out. Uh, trying to trip the alarm and I didn't manage to do it, but it took me like 20 minutes of trying. Uh, and again, I don't want to damage my car, so. <laughs> hmm. If you guys know a good way of tripping the alarm to break into your own car, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. I know when I did it last time, I just kind of gave it a good whack and then uh, the alarm tripped and obviously it's not looking promising. So, um, yeah. All right, so you can't fault me for trying. I gave it like five to 10 minutes of like trying to hit my car, hit my window, all sorts of stuff. The same kind of procedure I did last time to trip it for my sentry mode uh, video like last year, year and a half ago, and I just couldn't do it. So I gave it a good shot, but I just couldn't. Uh, nonetheless, this new, uh, this third uh, sentry mode improvement item on this update is such a huge, huge, uh, small quality of life improvement. And I say small, but it's not uh, big quality of life improvement for the security of your car. So uh, that one's like the probably the most exciting out of the three. And um, even though text messaging improvements is something you'd use every day. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this update. Uh, we have a lot of things to look forward to. We have the holiday update. Obviously, we have the FSD beta, uh, and there's all sorts of really good YouTubers out there shooting videos right now, uh, so make sure you guys are checking that out, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, do subscribe for more Tesla content, and most importantly, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.